Hey guys, welcome to Super Sick. My name is Taylor LeBeau, and I'm going to be covering the differences between the Series 4 RX-7 and the Series 5 RX-7. Uh, this is for the FC. It was made from, or it was sold in the U.S. from 1986 to 1991. In 1989, it got the update to the Series 5, where they pretty much updated almost everything on the car. They increased the power for both the NA and the turbo by about 20 horsepower. And then cosmetically, they updated almost everything from back to front, interior. And I'm just going to be going over all the major things that you will notice about the car. So let's say you just got an RX-7 or you're in the market to buy an RX-7 or you just want to swap some things around. This is going to cover just about every major differences that you can spot with your eyes so that you can know what's what if you're in the market for something. And just real quick, some might wonder which one's better, which better, S4 or S5? It's really dependent on your preference. Some people prefer the 80s looks, so they prefer the S4. Some people prefer the 90s look, they prefer the S5. And then just other little things. It's really mostly preference. There are certain things about these two series that are definitely better than other, but I think at the end of the day, they, they both have their pluses and minuses. So anyways, let's get started. We're gonna start from the back of the car and work our way to the front. First thing that you're probably gonna notice is gonna be the tail lights. These are S5 tail lights and these are S4 tail lights. Next biggest giveaway is the rear bumper of the car. The S5 got an update to the bumper so they do look slightly different, but the biggest giveaway is that the trim on the bumpers cannot be removed that trim is going to dictate best if it's an S5 bumper or an S4 bumper. The duckbill wing only came on S4 models, both NA and turbos. Both the speaker and cargo covers are going to vary between S4 and S5. And then a couple things that you can't visually see right off the bat. The gas tank on the S4 is 16.6 gallon tank, while the S5 is an 18.5 gallon tank. So both of the higher trim options came with LSDs. You have the S4 desired clutch type LSD versus the S5 vicious type LSD. The classic RX-7 wing you see on most RX-7s that came from factory came on both S4s and S5s. For the wheels on the S4, we have the two NA wheel options on the top left and then the turbo wheel on the top right and the convertible wheel on the bottom left. And then for the S5 again, the two NA wheels and then the turbo two wheel. And then again, we have the same convertible wheel that they used throughout Series 4 and Series 5. And moving on to the center of the car, we're gonna start with the side view mirrors. S4s had a standard mirror and then they also had an aero mirror, depending on the trim you got. S5s only had aero mirrors. S5s had heavier doors to provide more safety, while the S4s don't have that extra safety, so they're a bit lighter. And finally, on the S5 Turbo 2 models, you got OEM side skirts, part of like an aero package. And just really quick, guys, if this video has been helpful, maybe saved you some money, saved you some time, or it's just been enjoyable to watch, uh, please consider buying some super sick merchandise. I should have the website up soon, uh, like a shirt, sweater type of deal for right now. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, keep enjoying the video. Now, the interior is where you're going to see probably the most differences. And we're going to start with the door cards. Most of the S4 door cards did not come with a speaker in them. I think only convertibles had a built-in speaker, while for the S5s, they gave an update and they made the speaker integrated into the side compartment. Both of the tombstones are different. S4 handbrakes are made of plastic, while S5 handbrakes have leather wrapped around it. Climate control buttons, I believe on the S5 they light up. None of the S4s that I've seen, they, none of them light up, which is not very convenient. The shifter surround, boot, knob, and thread pitch are all different. S5s got electric sliding seat belts. S4 warning lights lit up a box, while the S5 had an outline. The gauge cluster is completely different. 
S4 has the RPMs gauge being the central focus. It's a lot bigger than the speedometer. The gauges on the left are like quarters of a circle, while on the S5, all the gauges are in circles and both the RPM and the speedometer are the same size. Since S5 NA is revved to 8K, the gauge reflects that. Both series got similar seat and interior color options. S4 had a blue, a red, a gray, and a 10th anniversary only black. And the S5 mostly only had black and blue interior, but there were some very rare color options that came with red interior, but I couldn't even find a picture. Both series got different front bumpers and front lips and then the Turbo S5's got its own unique front lip. S5 front bumpers could come with fog lights from the factory, and you will also see a Mazda logo made into the front of the bumper that you won't see on the S4. You'll notice on the S4 bumper that it has a rubber gasket between the fender and the front bumper, while on the S5's they removed that rubber gasket and then just filled it in by lengthening the bumper. S5 Turbo 2's had a wider inner flare to make room for the screws from the side skirts. So before I get to the engine bay, which is the last part, I want to restate I'm only covering the things that you will notice with your eyeballs, not every single little detail of the engine bay between every year trim and model. That would be its own video. Series 4's snorkels have a hard angle and a sticker on the airbox, while Series 5's is more straight and has an imprinted airbox. You'll notice 8 fan blades on S4's and 10 fan blades on S5's. S4 intercoolers are painted black underneath with two vacuum lines. S5's are all silver with a little bit wider diameter. If you live in the Los Angeles area or maybe somewhat nearby and you want to bring your car to Black Cat Racing Garage, we do a lot of fun things there. Just hit up Black Cat Racing Garage on Instagram or you can go to the website and kind of give them a rundown of what you're looking to do. At Black Cat Racing Garage, we're doing restoration, custom fabrication, alignments for the track, paint and body, engine repair, and suspension work. So yeah, if you're in the area, please hit them up and make your car super sick, dude.